So cuties, we are starting off with some McCart full coverage tips. I am not going to etch the insides of these because you know, it's gonna be some UNT peel off face coat and I'm popping these off as soon as I get done doing this set. So I took my coffin shaped tips and I was like, let me try some almond shaped nails this time. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, so y'all, y'all know I wanted this Kiara Sky lamp and I also went ahead and found some Build-A-Gel, McCart Build-A-Gel. So that's what I'm gonna be using today in addition to some sculpting gel and some 3D molds. Yes, that's my surprise, some 3D molds. I'm gonna figure out how this is gonna work and I'm gonna get some beautiful snowflakes on these nails. So I'm just looking through this um, kit right here. I'm gonna figure out which color I want to use. It was some very beautiful colors in here. Um, this is the lemonade, the khaki rose, and this last one is a light pink and I, lipstick pink, I'm sorry, and I went with the khaki rose because it just gave me that very beautiful, lush, nude vibe. So I'm just gonna swatch these out and then I will be back with you guys on doing this design. So y'all, um, I started playing around with these and the snowflakes were not coming out good at all. But I quickly learned to dampen my mold because they're not very deep. I dampened the mold, applied the sculpting gel, basically scraped it into the slot. I cured it for 10 seconds, that was all it needed. And I kind of like cleaned away, I didn't put it in the lamp just and I kind of saw there was some more stuff on there. I cleaned it away, took it out. And I was like, oh, this is gonna work. So here you see me dampening that mold again with just a little bit of alcohol. I'm gonna place enough sculpting gel in there to be able to create two snowflakes. And I'm just gonna scrape away the excess. I'm gonna cure it for 10 seconds and I'm gonna have some beautiful snowflakes. And y'all can already see the difference between the first set that I created and these. You guys, I love everything Christmas. If I could just have one room in my house that is just like a winter wonderland, I'm the type of person that will definitely do that. Christmas is my favorite time of year. I have so many childhood memories of Christmas growing up in the Caribbean. I, I just love, 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 love Christmas. So I'm gonna get this UNT Law face coat on my finger, one finger at a time, and let's start talking about this lamp. I'm just applying a thin layer of IBD um, Builder Gel. It's the pink color, that light pink color. And then I'm just gonna place a little bit at the edge right there, the cuticle area. And I'm just gonna slowly you know, press this nail onto the nail bed and get that gel to make its way down to the free edge. And I'm gonna go into the lamp. So I like this lamp because it's very convenient. You can just slide your hand in there. You're able to see what's going on. You're not fidgeting and fumbling trying to get, um, you know, those little handheld lights to kind of cure it while you're holding a nail at the same time. You're able to maneuver this with one hand and be good. The only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have a sensor. At least I don't think it has a sensor. I need to go back and look at the instructions again, but I kept having to press the button at the back and y'all will see me do that here and then hold the nail down and then place it in there. But all in all, this Kiara Sky mini lamp is just the bomb. I love it. I'm so glad that I got it. So this is what it's looking like after getting all of the nails applied. Now let's talk about this McCart Builder Gel. I guess because it's been sitting or you know it's on the shelf waiting for someone to order it, there is like this liquid or oil, I don't know what it is, that came out of the tube. And you can see just a little bit more came out before you started seeing the color that the actual Builder Gel was. Um, it was some separation between whatever that was and whatever the pigment color was. So um, I just kind of kept in mind 
after that that I needed to kind of like squeeze the bottle around inside before opening it and applying it to the nail. So I'll do that in the future just to make sure I don't have this oily thing coming out. But you guys, I did not like these nozzles. I did not like applying the Builder Gel with this. In the future, I'm probably going to put it in one of my extra little gel, 7 gram gel pots and just use my brush because there was just so much inconsistencies here. I was not able to get a smooth enough application. I was making mistakes with going a little bit too close to the cuticle and having to clean around that. Um, it was just like these little hills and valleys all the way down the nail to the free edge, um, which resulted in me having to spend a little extra time filing, not for the thickness of the nail, but because it was not a smooth finish like I'm used to. A little bit later on, y'all will see me flip the nail over to kind of fix that, but it did not work. However, I would say that this poly gel is a very nice, not poly gels, what is wrong with me? I guess I'm a little bit too excited for Christmas, but this Builder Gel is a very good consistency. It is not too runny, it is not too thick. I see myself being able to create extended nail beds with this because it's not just, it's not gonna move all over the place. And I am very happy for that. I'm purposely like keeping this portion here so that way you guys can see like all of the mistakes I was making because I was just so not comfortable with using this nozzle type of application process. I kind of got my bearings a little bit once I got to the second nail. I made that thumbnail a little bit too thick so I did have a lot more filing to do on that nail as opposed to the others but even still with um, the other nails, I was still having those little ups and downs, ups and downs with the application process with this nozzle. So like I said, I'm not gonna use the nozzle piece anymore. I will use my brush because I just don't know how to apply it with this nozzle, I'm sorry. Um, it's a cute um, perspective. It's a cute way of creating the bottle to be able to squeeze out what you need, but I don't think the design was thought through well enough because it doesn't really work for me. But hey, to each his own. I do like the product though. I will say that. Y'all can still see those bumps and ridges. You see it? I'm gonna flip this finger over, try to get that to settle and it did not move. That's why I said I love the consistency of this. There isn't much self leveling, -leveling properties in this um, particular type of Builder Gel from McCart. However, that's okay, you know, you live and you learn, and I'm just still fine with the product. I like it, so we're gonna move on to the rest of the nails, and then I'm gonna file, shape, and buff, and we're gonna get ready to get this design on these nails. So before I get into filing you guys, I did apply two layers of clear builder gel 
and I cured that and this is what we're looking like after filing. So I wanted to make a snowy, wintry type of design. And y'all, I'm low-key feeling these almond nails. Like, I never liked almond nails until I put them on myself. And I'm like, low-key, like, this might be my fave type of nail shape now. I've told y'all before, I really like coffin. However, it's looking like it's going to be almond for me from here on out. But I'm not going to overdose y'all too much with too many almond um, nail shapes. So anyway, I am going in with my Savvy Land gel paints. This time I decided to put just a little of that on my nail palette and add just a tiny bit of base gel, base coat, whatever. And I kind of mix that up to kind of thin out the consistency of the gel a little bit. I'm just gonna draw some beautiful snowflakes on a couple of these and then we're gonna get into putting on those 3D snowflakes that I created with Sculptor Gel. So cuties, I hope you guys are, you know, you're all enjoying this video this far. I hope everyone's holiday season is turning out just the way that they want it to because mine always is because I just love, 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 love Christmas and I am going to make the most of it regardless. With all that's going on right now, everyone knows what's going on. I'm just going to be happy, enjoy life. I'm grateful and thankful for all of you, especially my family. But I hope y'all are enjoying this video so far. You're liking the design that I'm making. If you're new, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel because we do lots of fun nail designs here. I'm willing to try anything when it comes to nails. I haven't gotten into encapsulating different types of things like food products and stuff. But um, yeah, I've done a couple characters and stuff like that. You guys will see some Christmas um, characters coming up pretty soon because yes, this is my Christmas series and we're gonna be doing other types of fun designs and different trending designs. So I'm almost at the end of creating this design, y'all. So let me tell y'all, I know I said I was gonna pop these nails off right after, but they were so fly, I did not wanna take them off. So I actually wear them throughout the weekend took them off that what well it wasn't the weekend for me it was like two three days in the middle of the week because I had that some stuff to do on the weekend for work so I took them off that Friday night and I was good to go for work so I just applied my bling gel and my top coat to that wet bling gel I did not cure anything I didn't put any of the snowflakes in there and then I laid the snowflakes in some of them were lifting up because of course they're not curved to the nail so I was just able to hold that down in the lamp with the other end of my picker tool and they stayed on there so so good I had no issues nothing was snagging on any clothes or anything like that so I really really loved creating with these molds. I'm just adding this beautiful Christmas tree with the star on top and then I am going to be all done. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something and I thank y'all so much for all of your love and support and as always I'll most definitely talk to you in my next one. Y'all I felt like I was rushing through this whole thing but it's all good. Y'all see how cute that looked right? I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye!